I know. We're too powerful. Too powerful. Oh my gosh. I'm sad because I, I, I have to like call Facebook to see if I can find the first half of that. Oh, Spindrift. But. What is that? <laughs> it's half Spindrift, half white wine. Oh my gosh. Wild. Oh, I can't believe that it just deleted like that. The shoots were not ready for this phone heat. Guys, Wait, what time do you like? I have a couple more questions. Do you have time or are you busy? Sorry, can you? Hello, guys. Hi. Hello, can you see yes. me? Yes, I can see you. Do you okay. have any more questions or do you have to do? Amazing. No, I'm here. Honestly, whatever you want, I'm here for you. This is wild. This is a wild time. This is a wild time. Um, you are so. I will say that your fans um, remind me a lot of um, Mary Kate. I took a photo a year ago with Mary Kate Olsen, and um, mm -hmm. people attacked my DMs, and people have similarly responded um, in my DMs. Um, what do you think about you as a white woman polarizes people so much? Well, I think once you've been canceled once, let alone twice, the bar will forever be lowered on what it takes to anger people about you again. Like once hating your first and last name is no longer a hot take, like it's forever, it's forever something that's easier to hate. But I, also I try to be controversial and that's, what I find interesting about you is the way that you use gender when discussed, kind of in defense of um, your online persona. You're uh -huh. Like, well, if I, as a, if I was a man, I would not be judged. How do you think that your whiteness plays into your persona? I think my whiteness plays into my persona the way, honestly, that, I mean, it permeates everything every white person does. Like, it's, it's always there. Like, it's always... It's always permeating it. You know, like, of course, it's always there. It's always an issue. Okay, we have, a, again, we have a bunch of questions. Let's see what we got. I want to, I want Caroline to rate her white guilt on a scale of one to 10. 10. That's how guilty you feel about being white? Yeah, for sure. Would you like to apologize to all of the black people that you've ever offended? Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think, the answer is yes, but like, this is not the way to apologize to them, and I'm aware of that, like, this show is not going to be like the way that I like, really like, say something sincere to anyone I've ever offended. Have you seen the account Black at Andover? Yes, I have seen it. What do you think about it? I think that, um, I think predominantly white institutions are very hard for minorities across the board. So I've been through several predominantly white institutions. I think that's part of the reason why I am successful and like appreciated um, is because I've assimilated in that sense. And I think that, that that has to do with like the abuse that you experience all over the place. Do you know what's so fucked up is that I recently had a takeover of my account from, so I, since I've been trying to like leverage the way that I, it's like, okay, so people think I'm a poster child of white privilege, yeah. fine. How can I use that to my benefit to like dismantle this motherfucker and burn it to the ground? So I've been really, and I'm gonna make some posts about the Black at Exeter account and the Black at Andover, is that what the handle is? You guys should follow them. In fact, just Google Taylor Lawrence um, Black at Exeter and there's a whole New York Times article that was published two days ago about all the accounts at all the elite schools of like accounts that are exposing faculty, other students, just like institutionalized racism. But I, I had this um, account of POC students at Cambridge take over my account. And something that I was so struck by was that the creator said that the, the girl who had created it said that people often blamed students of color for applying to that institution. Mm. They like victim blamed them for experience, 
experiencing racism. It's like, if you didn't want to experience racism, why did you come to such a fancy institution? And that's the craziest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. How did you, how did you contribute to any stories of Black at Exeter while you're, you were at Exeter? I don't know. That's something I haven't reflected on. But it's something that merits more reflection. And I think anyone who deflects that question is kidding themselves. What I, what's really interesting about this interview, I would say, is um, you're, you're sort of, you are really peeved at the idea that anyone white could come on this interview and say anything other than they are violent, racist, um, and kind of claim that. So what makes you so, um, why are you so steadfast about this? I just think that the, I just think as someone who has really struggled with a lot of, um, I don't know, let me start that sentence over. I think that you can't, you know who said this? Fucking James Baldwin was like, no a problem no problem that isn't addressed can't be faced. Like that's the paraphrasing of that quote. Like you need to face a problem to address it. And I just think it's really, you know, in White Fragility by Robin, um, she a book said read or a book you've ordered. A, a book that I've actually read. Okay, great. Robin said that, you know, the more that white people associate racism with evil the less they'll be able to accurately judge their own actions or even dismantle it within themselves. Because if I feel attacked when you're like, this is the whole premise of your show. You're like, I baited you. Oh my God. Um, when someone's like, I baited you, um, racist. I'm so sorry. My manager's calling me. I have to go soon, but, um, Are but you I don't to think get that offline. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Can you Honestly, please say something very nice about, about what has happened? Because my I think my manager is very mad. Okay. Um your mm -hmm. manager shouldn't be mad. I don't know what to tell them. I have managers um and agents as well and I love them. I love my team. Um I don't know what to tell them. You pay them. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, what a fantastic show. I think we might have lost Caroline. Oh, Caroline's back. No, we lost her. What a fantastic, fantastic show. I'm so sad that um, I could not, that that deleted. Um, so please, if you anybody recorded any of that, please send it to me, because that was the joy. That was so much fun. Um, shout out. Next week, we have fantastic guests, Allison Roman, Joe Firestone, and Nick Sorelli. So I'll see you guys um, next week, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern.